what it is guys it's your boy king mike d games here coming at you with another video and on this video i got a request from my boy uh wizard nick uh he wanted me to go over some of my favorite uh blu-ray dvds now i have regular dvds down here and of course they're cool as well but i want to be going over my favorite uh blu-ray dvds now i picked out about 17 of my favorite i'm just going to go over and pan over and show you guys the ones i have right here and uh, of course it was hard choosing because i have so many good titles that I chose from, but I think the ones that I chose were, uh, they were pretty decent. I think I chose the, some of the good ones that people might really like. So, okay, there's those. So without further ado, let's go right here. And the first one I'm going to go with is uh, Vacation. If you guys have not seen a uh, National Lampoon's Vacation movie, uh, you guys are really missing out. Hilarious comedy from beginning to end. And this one's my favorite one. I have another uh, National Lampoon's Vacation movie. I think I have the one when they go to Europe. That one's funny, but, but for some reason, this one, and of course the uh, Christmas one, which I'm looking out for, is hilarious to me. I don't know why. It's just hilarious. So, good DVD. If you guys have not gotten this or seen this, please check it out. Really good movie. Really good comedy. Next up, I have Teen Wolf, the original Teen Wolf, with Michael J. Fox. Um, if you guys haven't seen this movie, another uh, comedy uh, I wouldn't even call it a horror. It's not even a horror movie. It's just a real funny comedy. Uh, long story short, Michael J. Fox finds out that uh, his dad and himself, uh, well, he's a wolf. He finds out, basically. But his dad knew all along it was one of the family uh, lost kept secrets. So, very funny movie. Very cool. And I was very happy to pick this up. I think I paid like five bucks for this at Target. So, really good movie. Next up. Straight out of Compton. Um, I have to say I was really impressed with this. Um, to put a, a bio together in two hours, amazing to me. Uh, of course, you know, they left out a lot of stuff. And um, like I said, you only can do so much in two hours to tell people's story. I, I was really happy with the outcome of the movie. Um, they did a good job of uh, basically going over the main parts. Uh, as you guys know, like I said, to do a bio movie with about five guys it would take a long time it wouldn't just be two hours so i was really impressed with this and um i really pick and choose what i want to see or what i want to buy on blu-ray because of course i have cody i'm not sure if you guys heard of cody some of you guys probably have and you know basically you have everything but this was a must get for me because i really enjoyed it and uh of course it comes with the digital copy it comes with the blu-ray disc and it comes with the regular dvd good movie if you guys haven't seen it check it out next up Original Halloween by John Carpenter. Uh, this is really really started it all. I mean, this is the first one. I mean, I really like this one. I have the uh, Rob Zombie Halloween movies. I'm gonna be honest, they're okay to me. Um, I like the classic, uh, the classic ones before Rob Zombie starting to have something to do with it. Uh, they got a little bit too. I mean, I guess you can say. I mean, this day and age, uh, things most things are brutal, but. I don't know. It wasn't. It didn't have the same mystique. The same. I don't know. And of course, he probably was trying to go for something different. But I don't know. I couldn't get into it a whole lot more. But I have a few other Halloween movies as well. But the classic first one sticks out to me. Next up, I'm gonna go with the series. I'm just gonna put the whole series out there. Uh, this is Ash versus Evil Dead, of course, which spawns from Evil Dead, and I have all three. Right there. Original Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and Army of Darkness. And of course, uh, of course, uh, sorry, Ash vs. Evil Dead. Um, if you guys have not watched this series, uh, you're missing out. The first one was it was pretty, I guess you could say, gruesome and gory. After that, they kind of got like a comedic role. It was very, it's very funny. Now, I know Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2 is uh, done. I'm going to be picking that up on Blu-ray when it comes out. Very good series, very good franchise. And... It's a little um, trivia on this. Every movie had different directors. So they really couldn't talk or say too much about the other film. Like this one really couldn't go in depth with this one. This one really couldn't go in depth with this one. I'm not sure if you guys have seen the series. You kind of see, you kind of wonder and uh, pay attention. They're all over the place. You really don't know what's going on because they couldn't really reference each other. So cool little fun fact. I'll put these over here. Next up, one of my favorite movies of all time and favorite video games that I've mentioned, The Warriors. Classic movie. Um, basically, a, street, a whole bunch of street games are coming together to basically uh, put an end to the uh, violence that's going on and basically have a truce and work together against the cops. And 
the leader Cyrus ends up getting killed. And when Cyrus gets killed, basically all hell breaks loose. Uh, one of the other rival gangs blamed it on the Warriors. And the Warriors went on this big adventure to basically get back home to Coney Island to their own turf. They go through a whole bunch of other different gangs and a whole bunch of like the train breaking down, other gang, women gangs coming after them. Just a very, very good, well put together movie. Um, it has its funny parts, but it's a very cool overall movie to watch. If you guys haven't played the game or watched this movie, you got to watch it. You got to pick it up. It's very good. Next up, Die Hard. Die Hard Collection. It, came with, it comes with Die Hard, Die Hard 2, uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance, and Live Free or Die Hard. I'm a huge Die Hard fan. Uh, like I mentioned in my other video about the Die Hard video game, um, it's, it's really fun. I, I like this. It's very comedic, uh, very, a lot of action. If you like action, you like something that's really going to, if you have a sound system that's really going to bang, these are the movies to watch. A very good uh, franchise, very good movies. And um, they're still rolling them out. I mean, the last one came out, I think, not too long ago. I mean, he's still, Bruce Willis is still pumping them out. So this is one of my favorites of all time. And like I said, of course, I like the original one because I like the original game where you have to defuse the bombs that's all over the building. So I really like this a lot. Die Hard. Next up, a classic, Beetlejuice. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this, <laughs> it's a funny movie. Real hilarious. Uh, basically... Um, the two couples right there, as you guys can see, they end up dying and uh, a new family moves into their house and basically they're haunting their house that they lived in, but they don't like the family that's in there. But they end up getting really close to the girl that's there and uh, they both try to basically run the family out of there. But at the end, they end up coexisting together. And um, yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty fun movie. And plus, Tim Burton did it. So. If you guys watch this, you'll kind of get the same feel like a nightmare before Christmas because Tim Burton, he's the man, of course. And he did. I think Tim Burton did a Batman as well. And of course, you guys know Michael Keaton, which is Beetlejuice, played Batman before. So very good movie. Very funny. Uh, classic movie right here. Next up, Deadpool. Um, Deadpool. I mean, if you guys haven't seen this movie, you're missing out. Uh, actually, I have this on. This is on 4K Ultra HD. And it's also for Blu-ray and also has a digital copy as well. Um, hilarious movie. Very funny. I know they're working on part two. Um, all the way around good movie. I have nothing bad to say about this movie. It was just very awesome. And I'm looking forward to, to getting a uh, 4K TV very soon. Because you guys all know the Xbox One S plays 4K Ultra DVDs. Not the PlayStation, which created Blu-ray. But Sony did. But that's a different story. You guys already know how I feel about that. But thank you, Xbox, for being able to let me play this if I wanted to. But uh, very good movie. Very funny. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this, got to check it out. Next up, Batman The Dark Knight. Uh, one of my favorite action films also of all time. Um, I remember when I first seen this in theater, I was in awe. Uh, when I got home, I remember when I first bought this, uh, watching it on surround sound. <whistles> very, very, very intense. It looks great. Um, this is actually one of the best DVD uh, Blu-ray films I've ever seen. It's just well good, well put together. Um, like I said, it sounds great. It looks great. Um, really enjoyed this a lot. If you guys haven't seen this, you're missing out. Check it out. Next up, Back to the Future, uh, the trilogy. Uh, I also have this for regular DVD. But I remember buying this when it first came out. This is the 25th anniversary let me just open it like so. You guys can see. Now I have to tell you guys about Back to the Future. I'm sure you guys know about it. One of the, my favorite films uh, for back in the day. This is when Steven Spielberg was on top of his game. I think Steven Spielberg ruled the 90s. I mean, and late 80s. I mean, he had E.T. He had Back to the Future. He had Jurassic Park. He had all kinds. I mean, I really think... Uh, he ruled the 90s as far as late 80s and 90s as far as movies go. Very good movie. Very awesome. Martin McFly goes back in time. Tries to save. And the first one he tries to save his uh, parents, I believe. I don't remember what order it is. But he's always trying to save somebody. The last one, I know he's trying to save Doc. Uh, one of them, he was trying to save his parents. Uh, but actually making his parents get together and uh, not mess without messing up uh, the future. So uh, it was a very good movie. And... Um, very fun. Very, very fun. And I, as you guys know, I live in, um, well, I live in Inglewood, but I live in uh, L.A., you can say. And if you go to um, Universal Studios, 
they give you a tram ride of the back lot where they do all the movies at. And the whole, um, the like, uh, what should I call it? The town hall, everything, all of that is back there, guys. It is awesome. It looks exactly like you're in the movie because that's where they shot it at. Very awesome experience. If you guys are out here or are visiting, make sure you check out Universal Studios. Go to the back lot. It's awesome. Next up, Goodfellas. One of my favorite mafia movies of all time. This is the 20th anniversary edition. And uh, if we open it right here, it comes with a little documentary talking about Public Enemies, the golden age of uh, gangster films. And it comes, sorry if I'm messing it up. It comes with a little flip book of uh, some of the parts in the movie, some of the pictures you guys haven't seen. And it basically talks about each character and everything like that. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. And of course, there's the Blu-ray. One of my favorite gangster films of all time outside of Scarface. Most definitely. If you guys haven't seen this, pick it up. The ending is amazing. <laughs> and uh, it's just a very good movie overall. Very good movie. Next up, you have A Nightmare on Elm Street, The Collection. All seven original films are in here. Let me try to open this. Sorry. Okay, so all seven are in here. And they're all on Blu-ray. I mean, I like this. I think the presentation should have been a little better. I mean, it's kind of bland. Kind of bland. The uh, title films, the title screens are kind of bland. I know you guys are probably wondering, so what? What difference does it make? I don't know. I just think when you get something that says collection and it has all the films on there, that should be put together really well. I mean, because it's a very great movie. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's pretty cool. Like I said, it's kind of bland. And um, but I love the series. The series is hilarious. It's funny. It's scary. Uh, well, not so much scary now, but back then, I'm pretty sure the pe the kids who were uh, were young then were very scared. But it's kind of funny now more than anything. And as you guys know, I have my Freddy glove right here, along with my Freddy Krueger belt buckle, which I've had for years. So I'm a pretty big uh, Freddy Krueger fan. So classic film. I know you guys have seen at least all or at least one of these. So I ain't got to go th run through all of them for you. The last series I'm going to go with right now is my Friday the 13th uh, series. And it comes with 12 films. And let me tell you guys, this is the most coolest thing that I have of my Blu-ray collection. Let me just show you. This is a tin can, basically, case. Here's my Camp Crystal Lake patch. I want to get like a little, like a jacket. I'm going to put this, oh, it's an iron-on patch, so I'm going to put this on there. I think this is so cool. It came with so much. Here is the 3D glasses. I think, I forgot which one it was, but one of them was in 3D. I think it was part two or part three. It was in 3D, so haven't even opened it yet. And then it comes with this nice booklet, guys. Check this out. See, it says, I told you the other, told you, I told the others they didn't believe me. You're all doomed. If you guys seen the first one, you've heard of that phrase. So let me open, take this off. And it comes with the Crystal Lake Memories book right here. The complete history of uh, Friday the 13th. I'm going to try to, sorry, I'm doing this with one hand, guys. So sorry if it's kind of messed up. So it just runs down all of them. Says that when it came out, the day, the year. I think it's awesome. I'm not sure they all were released Friday the 13th. I'm not sure, but there it is. Let me try to just different stuff it has, different fun facts and different information. And also has the DVD inside the Blu-ray talking about all the uh, Friday the 13th. So let me open this, show you guys real quick. The only thing, my only bad uh, thing I have to say about this is I didn't like the way they put them in the slots. Let me show you. See like this, like it's not soft in there. It's really kind of rough. It's like you would think it would be like a smooth little, you know, slot to put that in, but it's it's not. So I'm like, uh, that could overall probably over time cause scratches to it. So I didn't like that. But other than that, guys, it's pretty cool. It tells you a little bit about the movie. It gives you like a little picture of the case how it looked. It's pretty cool. So this is one of my favorite. Uh, collector's thing and at first i didn't open this because this was going for a huge amount of money but i seen it drop it was going for like almost i think three or four hundred dollars brand new 
and I had it new, but then the price suddenly just dropped. And I just said, you know what? Let me open it. I want to see what it's in there. I got this for like a good deal. I got this for like 90 bucks. So um, still not a bad deal. This is Jason Goes to Hell. Jason X right there. Freddy versus Jason, which is awesome. It came with this. And there's a new Friday at 13th, which I didn't care about. And there's the killer bonus DVD. So uh, that's it, guys. That's it. Here's my favorites right here. I have some underneath, but yeah, so I want to give a shout out to uh, Wizard Nick for the um, request. Anything else you guys want to see, um, let me know. Um, yeah, these are my favorites. I'm looking to get a 4K TV soon, as well as a new surround sound system, probably a Bose, because I think you just get the best sound and you get, uh, it's not that much. You don't need like five speakers to get the best sound out of Bose. So, um, yeah, so that's probably going to be, that's coming on the way. And um, hope you guys are having a good evening. More uh, videos coming this weekend. Peace out. Have a good night.